Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalingam Engineering College, Kovil Vanni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture on solution and discussion in UPSC Engineering Service exam questions in the topic Internal Combustion Engine. This is lecture number 23 in the preliminary exam series. The first question from 2019 question paper. A four-stroke diesel engine has length of 20 centimeter and diameter 16 centimeter. The engine is producing power of 25 kilowatt when it is running at 2500 rpm. The mean effective pressure of the engine will be nearly 5.32 bar, 4.54 bar, 3.76 bar and 2.98 bar. The correct answer is 2.98 bar. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, here is the answer. So, given data it is a 4 stroke cycle engine, stroke length equal to 0 0.2 meter, diameter equal to 0 0.16 meter, power equal to 25 kilowatt, speed 2500 rpm. Answer to the question, work done by the engine from the definition of power, power equal to work done into n divided by 2 into 60. So, rearranging work done equal to power into 2 into 60 divided by n. So, 25 into 120 divided by 2500 equal to 1.2 kilojoules. The sub to volume of the cylinder V s equal to pi by 4 d square into L, which is pi by 4 into 0 0.16 square into 0 0.2 equal to 0 0.004019 meter square. Mean effective pressure defined as work done divided by sub to volume 1.2 divided by 0 0.004012 equal to 298.56 kilo Pascal, which is 2.98 bar. The next question from 2019 question paper, a two stroke oil engine has a bore of 20 centimeter, stroke 30 centimeter, speed 3350 rpm, IMEP indicated mean effective pressure 275 kilo newtons per meter square, net brake load 610 newton, diameter of the brake drum 1 meter, oil consumption 4.25 kilograms per hour, calorific value of the fuel 44 megajoules per kilogram, the indicated thermal efficiency will be. So, we have four options here 29.1 percentage, 31.3 percentage, 33.5 percentage and 35.7 percentage. Among the four answers, the correct answer is 29.1 percentage. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, here is the answer. So, given data two stroke cycle engine diameter equal to 0 0.2 meter, stroke length equal to 0 0.3 meter, speed equal to 350 rpm, IMEP 275 kilometers per meter square load 610 newton, diameter of the drum 1 meter, mass of the fuel 4.25 kilograms per hour, calorific value is 44 megajoules per kilogram. The indicated power from the formula IP equal to PIM, indicated mean effective pressure, area of the cylinder, stroke length N into K, K is the number of cylinder, so here it is single cylinder engine, so K equal to 1. So, PM, I, PIM pi by 4 d square, area equal to pi by 4 d square into L into N by 60. So, substituting numerical values 275 into pi by 4 into 0 0.2 square into 0 0.3 into 350 divided by 60 equal to 15.11 kilowatt. Indicated thermal efficiency eta equal to IP indicated power divided by mass of the fuel into calorific value. So, 15.11 into 3600 divided by 4.25 into 44,000 which is 0 0.291 equal to 29.1 percentage. The next question from 2020 question paper, a four cylinder four stroke single single acting petrol engine consumes 6 kg of fuel per hour at 800 rpm when the air fuel ratio of the mixer supplied is 9 is to 1. The temperature is 650 Kelvin and pressure is 12.5 bar at the end of the compressor stroke. Take R gas constant R equal to 300 joules per kilogram Kelvin, diameter of the cylinder is 8 centimeter, stroke of the cylinder is 10 centimeter and the compression ratio for the engine is nearly, we have four options 6.2, 5.7, 5.2, 4.6. The correct answer is 6.2, we will see how in the next slide. So, we calculate the volume, the answer calculate the volume of the cylinder A L N K. So, pi by 4 d square into n by 2 into 60 into k, k is the number of cylinder, substituting pi by 4 into 0 0.08 
square into 0 0.1 into 800 by 2 into 16 into 4 equal to 0 0.134 meter cube. So, the step 2 volume V s equal to 0 0.134 meter cube. Mass of the mixer or mass of the gas m equal to m a plus m f. So, you take m f outside m a by m f plus 1 m a by m f is the air field ratio just 9 plus 1 into m f equal to 6. So, 60 kilograms per hour. Volume at the end of the compression V2 equal to MR T2 by P2 from the perfect gas equation. So, M equal to 60 into 300 into 650 divided by 3600 to convert kilograms per hour into kilograms per second. So, into 12.5 into 10 power 5. So, 12.5 bar is the pressure multiplying by 10 power 5. So, this equal to 2.6 in 10 power minus 3 metric cube. So, volume before compression V1 equal to V2 volume at the end of the compression plus the sub 2 volume. So, 2.6 in 10 power minus 3 plus 0 0.0134 equal to 0 0.16 meter cube. So, the compression ratio R equal to V1 by V2. V1 is the volume before compression and V2 is the volume after compression. So, 0 0.016 divided by 2.6 in 10 power minus 3 equal to 6.15. So, the compression ratio is 6.15 is the answer. The next question from 2021 question paper. The cubic capacity of a four stroke spark ignition engine is 275 cc cubic centimeter and the clearance volume is 25 cc. What is the compression ratio of the engine? There are four options given here 8, 10, 12, and 14. We we'll calculate the answer the compression ratio R equal to Vs plus Vc divided by Vc. So, Vs is the sub volume divided by uh, plus Vc is the clearance volume divided by clearance volume. So, 275 plus 25 divided by 25 equal to 12. So, the answer is 12. 12 is the compression ratio of the given engine. Next question from 2021 question paper. A four stroke petrol engine at a full load delivers 100 kilowatt. It requires 10 kilowatt to rotate it without load at the same speed. What is the mechanical efficiency at a half load? So, the Petrol, four stroke petrol engine, full load capacity, the power produced at the full load equal to 100 kilowatt and we are given a friction power without load. The friction power is 10 kilowatt and what is the mechanical efficiency at half load condition? So, when the engine is operated at a 50 percent load, there are four options given here 67.82, 70.24 percentage, 77.32 percentage, 83.33 percentage. We calculate Brake power at a full load, the answer, brake power at a full load equal to 100 kilowatt. Friction power is 10 kilowatt. It is given here. BP at a half load equal to 50 kilowatt. So, we have to calculate brake power at a 50 kilowatt. So, mechanical efficiency at a half load is equal to brake power divided by friction, brake power plus friction power. So, BP by IP is the mechanical efficiency. Indicator power is brake power plus friction power. So, 50 divided by 50 plus 10 equal to 0 0.833 which is 83.33 percentage. So, the answer is option D, 83.33 percentage. The next question from 2018 question paper, the following are the result of a MOS test conducted on a four cylinder, four stroke petrol engine at a common constant speed in all the case. The brake power of the engine when all the cylinders are firing is 80 kilowatt. The brake power of the engine when each cylinder is cut off in turn is 55 kilowatt, 55.5 kilowatt, 54.5 kilowatt 50 and 55 kilowatt respectively. The mechanical efficiency of the engine when all the cylinders are firing will be, we have four options here, 90 percent, 85 percent, 80 percent, 75 percent. The correct answer is 80 percent. We will see how in the next slide. So, here is the answer. Brake power when all the cylinders are working, BP equal to 80 kilowatt. IP when the first cylinder is cut off, IP1 equal to BP minus BP1. So, 80 minus 55 equal to 25 kilowatt. Indicator power when the second cylinder is cut off, IP2 equal to BP minus BP2, which is 80 minus 55.5 equal to 24.5 kilowatt. IP when the third cylinder is cut off, IP3 equal to BP minus BP3, 80 minus 54.5 equal to 25.5 kilowatt. And IP when the fourth cylinder is cut off, IP4 equal to BP minus BP4, which is 80 minus 55 equal to 25 kilowatt. The total indicator power IP, IP equal to IP1 plus IP2 plus IP3 plus IP4. So, substituting it is 100 kilowatts. So, the mechanical efficiency eta m equal to brake power by indicator power. 
So, 80 divided by 100 equal to 0 0.8, which is 80 percentage is the answer to the problem. This is the calculation for the Morse test. The next question from 2018 question paper, a four stroke engine having a brake power of 105 kilowatt is supplied with the fuel at the rate of 4.4 kilograms per minute for 10 minutes. This brake specific fuel consumption of the engine is 0 0.18 kilogram per kilowatt hour. 0.25 kilogram per kilowatt hour, 0.36 kilograms per kilowatt hour and 0.42 kilograms per kilowatt hour. So, we have to find the correct answer among the four options given here. So, fuel consumption per hour F c equal to 44.4 divided by 10 into 60 equal to 26.4 kilograms per hour. So, brake specific fuel consumption. So, B s F c equal to F c by B p. So, 26.4 divided by 105 equal to 0 0.25 kilograms per kilowatt hour. The option B is the correct answer, 0 0.25 kilogram per kilowatt hour. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering subject and I upload the video lectures of all the subjects in the YouTube channel and presently you are listening to the solution for UPSC engineering series exam questions. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. If you have any doubt on the subject, you can contact me. We will meet again with another video lecture in the internal combustion engine. Until then, bye.